There are a lot of things that US President Donald Trump has taken credit for. Making singer Lady Gaga a star, he said it. Making the phrase Merry Christmas a joyous one, he did it, he says. Popularizing airplane rallies, and if you think that these were bizarre, you have to listen to his latest claim. Donald Trump says he's made the holiday of Juneteenth famous. 19th of June, commemorated for the freedom of slaves. And this is something that has been celebrated every year since 1866. More than 250,000 slaves were set free. Slave owners had to finally acknowledge the end of the Civil War. And also pay heed to President Abraham Lincoln's call for emancipation. On the 19th of June 1865, Major General Gordon Granger landed on Galveston Island in Texas. Accompanying him were 2,000 Union troops. Gordon read out General Order No. 3. The people of Texas are informed that in accordance with a proclamation from the Executive of the United States, all slaves are free. This was melody to the ears of 250,000 odd slaves. For them, life in Texas was worse than hell. And now they were finally free. 19th of June came to be known as Juneteenth. It is a combination of the words June and Teenth. Juneteenth celebrations began in 1866. Since then, every year, the community marks this day with gatherings and feasts. There is also the red soda, symbolizing bloodshed. This year, Juneteenth is special. There is a worldwide movement against racism. Sparked by the death of George Floyd in Minneapolis. In the last couple of days, statues have fallen. The Pentagon has agreed to rename naval bases named after Confederate leaders. Racial injustice has become a part of dinner table conversation. There is even talk of defunding cops. But like everything else, Juneteenth too has been stained by politics. This man is the culprit. The US president claimed that he should be given the credit for throwing the spotlight on Juneteenth. I did something good. I made Juneteenth very famous. This is what Trump told the US media. We do not know whether the reporter laughed on the president's face, but here is something we can tell you. There is a lot of talk about Trump's first political rally since the pandemic. It was originally supposed to be held today, and guess where? Tulsa, Oklahoma. The same city which saw race riots 99 years ago. 31st May 1921. A white mob attacked black residents of Tulsa. This is the Greenwood District following the 1921 Tulsa race massacre, where 300 black-owned businesses were destroyed, 1,200 um, homes completely destroyed. More than 35 square blocks of property was destroyed in a single day. Trump's rally was pushed. It will now be held tomorrow. There is an uneasy calm in Tulsa. Experts fear that Trump's rally will worsen the racial unrest. And the president's Twitter handle is clearly not helping. This Juneteenth, let's hope for a future that's more just and for leaders with more sense. Bureau Report, we on World is One.